six volts right here. So yeah, yeah. So that's what it looks like with three volts. Let's amp it up to six. Oh yeah, definitely stronger. Oh my god, whoa, let's try the tissue again. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah, so nice. Cutting paper with a taser. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Friday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is a module comparison. Hi freaking a voltage module, so let's get it. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. So I'm down here in the studio. And as you already can see, here I have my good old power supply. And here I have the modules. All these are step-up modules and essentially convert three to six volts to around 15K, 20K, and 400k according to the sites that i bought them from 15k step up 20k step up and 400k step up that's what they look like this was a little kit and these you know they are basically pre-assembled this is looking like some sort of a resin and in here are all the components same story with this one and this thing right here this is the stun module well it's a stun module and i use this for my diy taser Check out the vlog right here and I also tested this taser on friends. The output is obviously not enough to take down a person, so that was a funny video. It hurts a bit, but you know, it's more like funny than dangerous. You can check out the video right here as well. And I also use this module for the taser ring. Um, okay, yeah, I still need to work on this design. First prototype of this taser ring, you can check out the video right here. And well, in this video, I want to compare them because my final aim, well, I need to find out which is most suitable for the flame fist. You know, a punch activated flamethrower. You can check out the last update on this device right here. I already tried this device and it kind of sucks. I'm pretty disappointed. And I also tried this stun module and it worked, but you know, it's kind of loud and it's obnoxious and I think this might actually be the best module so that's why I'm here testing them and again shout out to my dude Hyper Hector for recommending me this module you can probably find him in the comment section below thank you as always for recommending me awesome stuff and with my power supply right here let's dial in three volts I will start to test them there it is let's hook it up so let's start with the weakest module of the bunch so let's find out what this module will give us yeah, it's not that special as you can see. Oh, there is yet another finding that I want to talk about. It's about the cables, because as you can see, these cables, well, the modules, they come with rather, rather thin cables with a lot of leads. And I think it's actually easier for a spark to cross from thin leads instead from a thick cable like this one. So I think you could cross longer gaps with, you know, a very thin wire. But it's just a theory of mine, but I, I think that might be the case. With my lighting, you can't even see it that properly. Let's amp it up to 6 volts. And I remember in one comment Hector said, don't even think about using two 18650s because this will result in 7.2 volts and you know they are rated for 6 volts only. He said he already melted one module of his, something like that if I'm correct. So. Here we go with 6 volts. For some reason it just won't focus on the action. But here we go, 6 volts right here. So yeah, yeah, it works, but it's, you know, the thing about this one is if you blow against it. This is what happens when you blow. When the gas gets ejected, the liquid butane, it will most likely just blow it out or I don't know. Let's move on to the stun module, I guess. Okay, so here we have the stun module at 3 volts. And the cool thing about this module is that you can penetrate paper with it. As you can see, it is penetrating this 
tissue without any problems. It even gets burned just a bit, but doesn't light up or something like that. Let's try to widen this gap. So that's what it looks like with 3 volts. Let's amp it up to 6, I would say. Oh yeah, this is a definitely, definitely stronger. Oh my god. Okay, let's go for a huge gap. Nope, no chance. Even with 6 volts. That's like a 15 millimeter gap right here. It's nothing too crazy. Even at 6 volts. Well, well. And yeah, it is loud. It is really freaking loud. It's like a really loud clap on rapid fire though. So let's try that again with a small gap. Now that's going crazy. And again, tissue. So yeah, no problem at penetrating even paper. So this is a bill, so it's not really thick, but I will just fold it. Now let's see about that. Oh my God. So here you can see them little holes that got punched into the paper by the arc. So that's the stun module and with this module I got the flame fist to work with a native ignition system. So that's cool but maybe this one will work even better because again it's a stun module. This is designed to, you know, it's designed to cause pain. It's designed to enter the human body, break through the skin, <laughs> go into the nerves, into the nervous system and wreak havoc, cause pain. That's all what it does basically but this thing creates a hot arc. So I'm curious what it will do to this tissue. So let's hook it up. Okay, so here we have the last module and it looks to me, well, when it gets to the size, it looks fairly similar to this one. I think like there is a fairly similar coil in here. Well, it's actually a set of coils, I guess, but anyways, let's try that. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, man. This is a whole arc right here. That's not smelling too good. Oh my, oh my god. Whoa, this is hella nasty. I did not bring a device, a cutting device, pliers. So I guess I just have to keep going. And... What the hell is it doing? We are at 6 volts, by the way. Let's bring it down to 3, just to see if it will make any difference. Hmm. Not really, I guess. Okay, back at six. Oh, obviously, when it gets, you know, turned into coal, it will obviously conduct the electricity. <laughs> so funny, though. Okay, I was able to actually find a knife. So here we go. Just removed a bit of the plastic. Okay, let's hope for a better result now. It... Like, it wants to freaking burn a plastic, why? It's funny. Why is it doing that? Just freaking jump to the... To this wire right here. What the heck? Why? Hey, there we go. So, now this looks like a hot freaking arc to me. It's pretty much the same as this one. I just don't know about it. Oh my god. It would certainly be nice to use this with the flame fist because it's just so tight. It's like, it's so quiet. Let's try the tissue again. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Stop it. Yo, that did ignite it. Oh my god. Whoa. How is this possible though? This is a massive difference compared to the other one. How freaking hot is this arc? Like, check this out. Wow. Damn, son. Okay, just a tiny pulse is enough to punch a giant hole inside into this tissue right here and if I keep going, obviously it will catch on fire. So that is actually awesome. Let's try this paper right here. Yeah, no freaking problem whatsoever. It's 
So let's try like that. Oh yeah, this is looking promising. Oh hell yeah, so nice. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, that forced me to power up my ventilation system. Oh my God, there is way more smoke than expected. Oh my God, I c oh my God. I messed up the table again. But this is actually looking pretty cool, pretty promising. I think I just need a really tiny gap. Man, I don't know about it though. I don't know about it. Let's try to blow on this thing again. I just don't know about it, but I guess I have to test it out. Just a tiny gap. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I just need a way more powerful one than this one. Maybe a module that is able to handle two batteries in series, AKA close to eight volts. 3.8 will do as well. It's just so weak. It's just, it's really, really freaking weak. I don't know about it. Yeah, let's just test it with the next flame fist iteration, I guess. And for a last test, I reconnected this module and I will test this one with a tissue as well. Yeah, 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 that's, that's pretty much exactly the same thing, except this is way more comfortable to use because it's all, it's tiny and compact. But other than that, I think this is pretty much the same thing. So right after this video, I will try to find a more powerful module, just like this one. I have this feeling that two 18650s would certainly do the job. But one is just, it's just not enough. Cutting paper with a taser. Wow, this is so cool. Uh, well, here we go. This concludes this little experiment. Other than that, I'm fairly busy working on that camera slider and it's gonna be good. I will update on this as soon as possible and it's, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, now I need to clean up this table. But yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button the way I smash tiny little holes through tissues and paper. Almost burned down the studio. Okay, that was an overreaction. But anyways, bang that bell like crap, crap, never miss. Reviews of Chinese products. <laughs> Check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>